our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. It's a lot of stuff that went down in that, in last uh, is it? episode. <gasps> It's Crane. It's a lot of very disturbing stuff we found out in the last episode for sure. Man, he's he's gonna be pissed. Uh, that piece of that shit. Motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? Uh, I need to find snow. Blood. I just need to find snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! The crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going uh. to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Well, someone I need to tell explain snow. Explain this to me. Crane has been stalking Snow White. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did they need she cell phones. Where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the trip Bridge. Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Can she really be pissed off? She just li she lied to him about being. The front desk receptionist at a prostitution Wait. hotel. Or a hotel used for prostitution. What? They need they have a lot of stuff to figure out. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What do you mean? You tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I think she's suggesting not to tell her. But she's my partner. And my friend. And I have a love interest in her. Potentially. I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting. I think I feel... I feel like I have an obligation to tell her. I... I don't know. I don't know. This could be very bad if I told tell her though. Uh, I'm honored to be asked to speak with you. Someone's here. Female type. Lily had many friends, oh, this is the funeral. She was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special Okay, circle. we found snow. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that Let's waver. The pain of losing Lily will ever subside. Okay, well, we'll let her talk. I know as well as you that we know it she's will safe. Never subside, but I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well, and it will, in time. I want to hear this out. Equal in strength to our mourning her loss, and it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all That's been so weird. grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn I'll miss and worrying about patient, you. I'll rash miss our and fights. How she you. carried a torch. You know, that's low key pretty sweet. For tradition for um, pageantry. And most of all, uh, it's now you will never die from really indifference loved, or lead a tedious life. And Goodbye, sweetheart. She loved Thanks for everything. In good times Vivian. and bad. 
I never met Have we Lillian. met Lillian or Vivian? I don't know. What I've been told. I know in my heart. You were a big, bright, shining there. star in this we'll shithole of a town. Moment of silence. I miss you already. Thank you. Uh, I think she's done talking. Billy Goat, Rye Whiskey. Bigby, is everything okay? Oh, we need to talk. No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Oh, Holly, come on, We're, we helped you. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Uh, Holly, I'm sorry. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait, wait what? that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Thank you. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You uh, can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's Holly, Crane's a prick. That's true. Okay. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. You have no but this idea. One isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Uh, Everything I'm here to talk okay? to Snow. I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? I hope that helps. Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. It doesn't. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You hear me? Of course. I won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. They all have ribbons. Let's go, Holly. Oh, they're all prostitutes, though. It's your turn to talk. I feel like just my presence left everyone feeling uncomfortable. I kind of feel bad. This Ugh. better be wildly important. It it's is. It's hard enough making a connection with these people. Uh, Crane's obsessed you with you. this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... No! Just listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the open arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... You know, he replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm Ugh. just trying everything I can right now to not... I picture, thought you should know. To not picture him. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? That picture's because pretty damning. Baby. Don't confuse things. Crane took photos. Crane would be the next step. I'd rather not and show her unless she asks. It would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? I hope she stays, at least for a little Two while. Minutes. I don't mean to be, um... Take, no, I take your time. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Okay, that's good. That's good. Hopefully this How puts her go? at ease. At the motel, did you find anything? Uh, yes, no. thanks. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. 
I don't want to. I don't want to give up too much information. Uh, coming. Saying yes at least would put her at ease. Constable. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The oh. First thing in a visit, you say, "How do you do?" Uh, how do you do? What are you doing here? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, then we'll leave you alone. Oh. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You work for Crane? Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See, now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. I don't want to escalate this. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Uh... Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just what's don't hurt anyone. Be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, oh no. gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This oh is man, no. What is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. Crap, and I chose the wrong happy option. We're to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't uh, any of your. What deal? Please settle down. Fuck. Settle down. Oh. Yeah, everyone just Stop stay this. where you are. Nice and natural. Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. Oh no. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not uh, getting away with this. Polly? I'll handle this. Polly, let me handle this. Oh, yeah, this is escalating really fast. fast. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill what you! The f wow. Oh my god, no! I got it done! Let's go for the gun. Get out of here! Oh my god, dude, I can't believe you shot Holly! Oh no! What? Oh my god! I should have just agreed to everything. This is why I love these games low key though. <laughs> you feel like you're doing the right thing and then it just backfires. That's horrible. So, D and Dumb definitely have some uh some business with uh, some bars in a place called Jail, aka Prison. Oh my god, bro, that's crazy. We may not have been in good standing, but they did not just. They really did not deserve death. A crooked mile. That's crazy. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> that sounded gross. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep straight on. How's everyone else? How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Oh, that's good. 
I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. They're gonna the hate you, though. won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. Uh. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Man, it's they're gonna office. hate me. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. This, this is all escalating very quickly. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> Not about cover. Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Uh... But, I, I don't know. Any other leads? There's no other leads. This is it. Just... Wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to I'm me. not sure. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It sounds like it Just doesn't make sense. He's prime suspect. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Oh, man. Murdering I... prostitutes. Ow. Yeah, Everything I agree. Okay, we don't then? have that smoking yes, Just cut gun a piece of, the glass. Piece of evidence about. that connects Things him to the murders. Tonight, by the way. We just have something that, that connects him to the room really where the murders were done. I mean, even worse than it did. I feel I'm bad for Holly. I just feel bad for Holly, really. I really yeah. do. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Yeah, I feel Can horrible. Can I, um, ask you a question? Of course, no? It's kind of personal. Definitely, you could... And I don't want to offend you. Yeah, of course. But after tonight. Sure. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you hmm. know, stop pretending. I don't enjoy oh, it. No, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible oh. what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I, I did. didn't mean to answer like that. I didn't think he was going to answer like that. That's... Uh, guys, we have a problem. What is it? I it's can't missing a piece. the mirror. It's missing I, a piece. I knew it. Knew it. What do you mean? Missing a piece. Crane must have taken it. Yes, it's uh Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what? What does that Duffin? mean? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is uh, an option. How long will no. the mirror take? We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. Yeah, we don't have that he's kind of time. Freak, but he was never that smart. I think I'm with Snow on this one. to take a piece of the mirror. Yeah, I agree. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Oh, I kind of feel bad for Buffkin. We kind of just blew him off. He had an idea. Um. 
Let's take a look here. Where's he going? Okay, there's a... There's the key! What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Uh, I need to know. Okay. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. No, oh, I'm sure this There's is bothering so her. Much you can repress, you know. Uh, you, you. There's no way you could have known. There's no, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. No, she could not have known. There was things that I'm sure she could have pieced together over time. But to be fair, you, I, 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 I think it was Beauty who said it in the last. You know video you never really know someone or you think you know someone or something like that right and that's if that holds basis in fact you never really truly know someone until all the evidence is laid out right in front of you which is kind of unfortunate in this situation because it's at the expense of uh of snow right so i don't know i kind of feel bad for her like legit really bad let's read this one uh, okay are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions are here. Uh, the conditions here could uh, do with some improvements. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Wayland Smith! Oh my God, we found Mr. Smith potentially. Okay, that's a big development, I think. Okay, so I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and po Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really... Ew. And I'd really like it if you fix... Uh, the air like we asked you three months ago at the very least provide us with a fan in the meantime sincerely boy blue Okay, that was a pretty gross development, but I don't think that has anything of relevance Okay, you said you pay uh, To have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204 it's falling off the fucking walls please fix it I can't rent out the room as it is and I've already been waiting for days not to mention you already promised you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in the front door well guess what it's worse now get your shit together Mr. Toad so Mr. Crane was the one that paid a visit to Mr. Toad and hit him upside the head then Crane ever do any work only when Cole was around. Okay. What do we have here? It's locked. We need a key or we need to break it? Break it it is. The office of... Never mind. The office of business affairs. Okay. Witching There's cloak? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The ring? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Hmm. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from I'm sure it's about this ring they must have it why not mention this before I agree no one asked me buffkin really buffkin I'm, hungover. I'm sorry <laughs> they set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight that's... what's going on 
Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dog uh... pervert or not? I tried get out of here, Bluebeard. Concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. He seems he's jumping into conclusions. Every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. You're assuming Look, it is. This just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Really? Oh my god. AM or PM? AM. Really, Listen, Buffkin? Beard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any uh, position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane? Fine help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, I mean, we know he, that's that Crane fair. Is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I I'm heading this investigation. For years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. I hope I got the right answer. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We uh, haven't been the ones babbling. Ah, uh, ah, uh, quiet. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't That's a fair matter point. what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not it, smart enough to try. It does matter what they know. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has uh, to be our focus. Even if they're not there, the Tweedle's office might have something on Crane. I, or the witch. I think so, too. I don't too. really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? You're not we an investigator. the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You this guy's low-key like psychotic. You can't go there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Uh, you're evidence. not going anywhere. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? I don't like this guy. stand here and babysit me while the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, he's insinuating I'll go that to he's the, the other. smart I one don't in the like situation. You going anywhere unsupervised. I'm with Snow on he's this up one. To something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. I'm with Snow on this. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? All right. I, I guess we're having an option. Huh. So Is this you a leave Crane alone? Then we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. So, Holly's... Oh my god, this is a tough decision. 
Okay, so Holly's bar probably won't end right. She needs some time to be alone. We might get some small information, but something that might get us uh, around in circles. Realistically, I think it's between Crane's apartment and Dee's office. Seeing as D knows a lot more than he was leading on, I think we would get some more solid information from D's office. Crane's apartment, knowing that he was smart enough to cover up from the... The... The, uh... What's it called? The, um... The mirror? There's a good possibility he already cleaned up after himself. His would be the second place I would investigate. I think D's office is probably my number one place. So let's, yeah, let's go. Let's go to D's office. D and Dom must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm sorry, Snow, but I, I really do feel like this is probably my best lead at the moment. I hope I'm not wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're in 25 minutes oh, later, hi. or left. Sheriff Bigby, great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? Uh, or dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right I'm now. I'm looking for D and Dumb. Sure be back. I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Uh, where's their office? They said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. Oh, we were literally right next to the office. There's I'm bound to be something to here. Take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. <laughs> right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Uh, no, you're fine. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, it's I official mean, Fable Town business. Not to let you in. It's official Fable Town business. Don't worry. Right. Okay. So let's survey the area. Okay, so we got file cabinet. Uh, we got the inbox. Uh, another inbox, I guess. Cigar box. Is that it? I think the file cabinet is probably the first thing I should check. Let's see if they got a file on Crane. Yep, Crane. Right there. Hold on, I wanna... Let's look around. Beauty. Georgie has an interest. Crooked man. What? Shit. That's not good. Uh, Brannigan? Detective Brannigan? Police precinct falls asleep for several hours. Keep an eye on her. Why? Okay, Cinderella? Where's Cindy been? Okay, skip crane. Donkey skin. Oh, God. Stole a photo from Craig. Lovely. Cost possible. Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Oh, snap. Okay. So, Crane. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Oh, God, dude, there's a connection. Request for property acquisition, further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? There's an... anything? Not what I need. 
But there's an I, I indirect. Know guys can come Hold on, I'll say it right now. Abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times. How do you mean? You get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages from people. They can be like couriers, you know? Or who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. <laughs> so, what I wanted to say is, Beauty and Crane have an indirect connection to, the, or, a, well, a direct connection to the Crooked Man, as he stated, which could potentially involve Beauty, but I have no reason to suspect uh, Beauty. There's just something suspicious there. Okay, inbox. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? Yeah, that's random. They do have their quirks. <sighs> See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Uh, not yet. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I haven't found anything yet. It sounds low key. I'm just saying. Look. Just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Loki, it kind of sounds like he's defending them somehow. Don't touch this. I mean, I really wanted to touch it. <laughs> Let's check out the other guys. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Oh, that's really brother dumb. That explains that. Freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. What if, what if you're wrong about them? No, something's off. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. What do they say about them? I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Uh, not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People is that what you think? You. Is that what you think? No. Be... Shit. There's something here. I know there is. He's starting to get to be. impatient. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you. Okay, flycatcher? That's why. They're involved. They, uh, they hired a hitman. They're hired guns. Hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... What do you think? They shot me. You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. Uh, Holly and Gren. I, I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? Come on, tell me something, buddy. You know something. <sighs> I, I didn't mean to. No, There's he's... a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Oh my god, thank you. Dude, thank you, man. That could be... That could make all the difference. Let's take a look at it first. Yep, that's a keyhole. Man, that could make all the difference. Okay, that's suspicious. That is very suspicious. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's funny. Mountain Blend Coffee. What am I looking at? Is that... Are they reloading their own ammunition? JD. JD. Who's JD? A book. That's definitely a book there, Big B. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. 
or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Okay. Uh, let's examine this. Butcher. What is this stuff? He shouldn't be touching anything. Instant crooked. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Okay, that's... Who is he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Uh, I mean, this he's not... Uh, uh, let's take the money. I'm gonna say it's evidence for now. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. He's not really a cop anyways. Wait, what is this? Hey, Big B. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people. Go, you know? go talk to Snow. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. He is being helpful. <gasps> the hair! It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This Wait a minute. The witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So so what now? Uh I should Snow would probably want to know. I should call this. the business office. I'll check in with the business office. Maybe there's a record of Auntie Greenleaf. That would make sense. I think I saw a phone near the back. Let me guess, it doesn't work. You're welcome, Sheriff. He's a good kid. Office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete screw? <laughs> you think this is tied to the murders? I mean... I guess uh, it's probably connected. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's thing again. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Uh, I'll go to the trip trap. I'll go to the trip trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just, just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? Of course. <laughs> I'll give Bumpkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Well, let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Who came in? Okay, so this could go pretty bad, considering what happened at the funeral. <laughs> Due to He's asleep, you I can't read idiot. that. Okay, so let's see. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. Let's uh okay. let's knock. Not like that. Uh, it's me, Bigsby. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Yeah, I didn't think they were gonna answer. Oh wait, they did answer. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She she said so herself. 
Don't soil yourself, Woody. Uh, I'm sure he understands. That's not and important he right now. He can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. I didn't want to answer like that. Now, come on in, buddy. Buddy? Brent, what? He's a traveler. Uh, a weary traveler in search of some yeah, sure. hospitality, right? Yeah. Why is he being sure. weird? Thanks. He's being very weird. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? I was expecting him to be pissed off, seeing as I Friend. basically yeah. led a shootout at a, the wedding. I can't hear you uh, when you mumble. Where's Holly? Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Drugged, maybe? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is. Yeah, I you're figured just it was going medicinal. Sleep like I am right now. It gives you a very, very, very nice high. Oh, that explains it. He's and he's, he's drunk. He shouldn't mix it with alcohol. That explains everything. He definitely should yes, not be doing that. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, I haven't felt this good in a long time. Have you seen Fat Lily's boy. things? Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That's not gonna end well, man. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. No, oh, I agree. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Grant, don't start uh, nothing. Don't start it wasn't anything. I'm it wasn't not. my fault. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? For now. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good huh. faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded. <sighs> Let me see. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. This might help and though. And we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. This might help. I'm risking a lot for this one. To the dead. It seems like he's in good spirits considering All right, what happened. Help me. Oh no. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many oh times snap! That's fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my. That caught me off mother, guard. So just get off my back. I said I was sorry. All right. I can't do anything about it. It's done. Okay. Yep. Uh, separate them. What more do you want? What I... else can I fucking say? I can't babysit I don't want you two. Anything from you, Woody. I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses <laughs> right now. End whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What news? This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh wow. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that. Well, right? to be fair, we already knew Your this. thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Yeah, you know he what? had already told Fuck us about this. that. 
I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. Uh, I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Give it a rest. Because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Did I make it worse? Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. Uh, you said you were help. That's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Man. What a fucking day. That did not help at all. That did not help at all. And I don't really want to wake her. She might go crazy. But if I look around without her knowledge, she might lose it too. Let's try to wake her. Is she gonna wake up or? Let's try this. Holly. Yeah, that's not gonna wake her up. He basically whispered. Well, we got a bottle of wine. Some sort of alcoholic beverage. Is this her things? Is that you, Woody? Uh, Woody? No, it's me, Bigby. No, Holly. It's me, Bigby. Big B, bars closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? <laughs> I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. That's actually, that's actually a little bit condescending. I kind of feel bad. So let me see, uh, 1934, okay, that's a bottle of alcohol. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy I care about, high rise. I care about Those every fable. Those that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends. And we ain't friends. I I I low key feel about her. Like I, I feel for her, I mean. Wait a minute. That's the thing that we found before. The cork looking thing. Oh wait, yeah, we gave it to her, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Let me guess, she's gonna say something else. Why do you even come Bingo. here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. Just, well, let's apologize. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. Yeah, well, I mean, I did come for the evidence, but apologizing would have been an added thing. I guess she knows us way too well. Um, the address book is probably what I need. But I want to take a look at everything else. While we have the opportunity, because I'm sure it's going to close out the other options if I go straight for the book. And looks like that's the only thing I have now. So let's go for the address book. What are we looking for, JD, right? Be honest, Sheriff. 
Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. He's got to get caught, man. Did they give you this job for a reason? Uh, was this the only I'm doing this for Faith, Lily, everyone. Let you do? Let's go with Lily, I'm doing though. doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. I think she's softening up for, for us, for me. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Is there a JD? Gotcha. Hello, oh, I guess AG would work. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Can I answer? Snow? Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Uh. Let's get going. Let's be meeting her in a few minutes. Let's right, go. Let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. I wish I could have told her to be careful. This whole situation is creepy. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Damn. This 14 is minutes late. All right. How do you want to do this? Uh Well, let's let's listen first. Hear anything? No, I don't hear nothing. Anyone's in there. They're being awfully quiet. Let's not say anything. Let's just go inside. Oh, I guess we're knocking. Never mind. Hello. Oh, wasn't expecting this. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Uh. Is something wrong? Sorry about that, Munchkin. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a Munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. Uh. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. <laughs> What's your name? Rachel. What's yours? She's adorable. Just so. Uh. We're not. I'm strangers. Bigby. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? She's very is there, mature. Um, is there anything you need? I'm looking for a I'm man. I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. <laughs> Do you go to school? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Is there something you want? I don't uh, think I can really help you. Snow, can you talk to her? Back in the morning. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to I, say to these people. I didn't. Mean children? I didn't mean to say it like that, man. Do I was doing so well. My friend here takes a look around. I promise we'll be quick, so you can hurry back to bed. I should have. I was debating on I've saying been here all night. to Nobody's come in. Nobody's been here. Oh, she's hiding something. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Okay. What's this over here? Okay, no, that's a door. Night, so... He's just going to check. Let me Let's guess. take a look around in depth. Classical. Honky tonk. <laughs> no accounting for taste. Uh, okay, so this might be her. That your mom? Uh huh. That definitely looks like an Auntie Greenleaf if I'm profiling here. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Okay. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. 
That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Huh. I think the daughter might know something, though. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Maybe. Um, like glamours? I was going to say like that one pork looking There's thing. There's no one here but me. She said that almost as if she's trying to hide the fact that there's someone here other than her. Where do you buy your clothes? At a... There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Yeah, there's something going on. I saw a spider... Please, uh, deliver to Auntie Greenleaves, the butcher. The butcher. What's that? We've heard that name a before. Package, having to do with someone called the butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it! That, didn't say that. Nothing. That possibly deserved a little more investigation. Of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please. Does he live here? <gasps> See, that's what Is I'm saying. That the cork. Glamour tube. Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. That's what I was talking about. So. No, 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 no! Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff. Okay? She checks all the time to see. Uh, if she's I'll be careful. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please don't. This isn't what you think. You gotta believe me. The guy isn't. I the guy? Be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> That's her. It hurts when you do it that fast. Whoa! Did not expect that to be honest. Uh. What? Not. So why the little girl? Enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. Am I good enough for you? Even worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. Uh, and from the beginning. Where's Crane? Was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe you're, for owls. Yeah, you're an accomplice to murder. There's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. I think that might be a little bit revealing. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, huh. family... Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. I don't give a I shit. I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know huh. what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine ah. everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. Ah, I like her. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. <gasps> no! I love her thinking. What is going on? How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. 
It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love. That is die. not true. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to uh, handle it too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Really could be you. Uh, I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please don't do this. Really could Isn't be there another way. She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That's that way she'd be official. You want to reward That's not her what I criminal behavior? wanted at you all. You can't trust this woman on the 13th. Floor. It doesn't matter cuz I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. <laughs> Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. There you he was go. here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. Huh. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Um. Please, Sheriff. Don't. I'm gonna hire her. Whoops. Took too long. Okay, well, I guess I see where I stand with you. Alright, let's go. I didn't mean to stay quiet. Hey, Greenleaf. Let me guess, this isn't over. Don't think this is over. Yeah, I figured. I won't. She's, to be fair, and I don't want to insult snow but she's a secretary i'm just allowing her to to assist she's i'm sure she's mad at me that's crane's car uh oh no it's nothing you need to concern yourself with i don't think so at least Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, get... Where's Crane? Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now. That... You? Yeah, there you go. Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Uh-oh. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. You can't help. I know you know what the plan is. Oh, he definitely held accountable. Grab yes. Crane. Oh my god. Big B. We don't. I, I, I didn't I... do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I don't think he murdered. A stupid ring working, that's all. He is a creep, though. Spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on, and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please, I'm innocent, completely, uh, completely innocent. That won't save just, you. Just let me show you. No one's ever talked their way out of an execution, Crane. No, 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 no. Really, this will work. I tell you. I, I went to <laughs> Damn you! Come on, please. He looks pretty Hell pathetic. You. My lips are sealed. <laughs> he still needs to be locked up, though. At least held for investigation. How what? How many years has this been going on? Two. Two, maybe. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, I just, uh, oh God. What happened to you, man? What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. She just, she's not falling for that. Bigby? 
I don't think he did it. What? Neither do I. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Mm, what do you mean? Not to put his stamp on the world like that. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? I don't either. If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. We he still have to hold him, though. of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? I, I do. For so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Uh, Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? He's definitely yes, prime suspect. That much is for sure. He come here if he wasn't covering his but he tracks. knows more than he's he saying. I thought he was being framed. This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. I agree. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? Uh, we'll find when out. When I saw you come back here. We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Well, that's obvious. Yeah. This guy seriously We're needs to be in jail. Or in prison. Quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. Nice. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're, you're lucky. With us. Get up. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. <laughs> you have what it takes to run that office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices, and you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. Uh, the town took everything it could out of me. You're going to prison. I maybe took a little something back in return. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Walk. <laughs> He's definitely a POS. I don't think he murdered her, though. Or anyone. To be fair, he's still prime suspect in my eyes. But we haven't, we still haven't found that hard smoking gun evidence that pins him to the murder. Just to the scene. Which is two different things. Preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Hold up. Oh, dude, this is... Is this a hitman? Shit. What is this? What's going on? Who is that guy? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there goes Tweedledee and Dumb. Hi. Wait, who's this? What you got there? Wait, who is she? Look. It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, kissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? <laughs> I haven't told him anything. Not now, not uh, now. Shh. who he are you? Up, start talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. I like her. She's really tough. What's the, uh, you know, that 
thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, We're about to find out who she is? Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Ah. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. Yep, I know who you are. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Crane's in my custody. Oh, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. There's no way I was gonna let her go that easily. Oh my god. Bigby? Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, snap. Are we transforming? Oh, let's do this. Something's going on. What is this dude is the definition of the big bad wolf? Oh, I'm coming for you, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. How is he? Wait a minute, he's transforming. Whoa, that is sick. Uh. Oh God. I don't know what I chose. Oh snap. Oh snap. I'm tired of this guy anyway, so. Oh, it's your turn, I, I guess. Oh, snap. Go. She already knew that was going to happen, though. Oh, this is crazy. No, I'm not. I don't want to kill him. Although they are pieces of crap. Oh, I'm. I'm scaring her. I'm guessing that's a silver bullet. It was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. Oh my god, it's the woodsman's axe. You know, oh snap. Silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, oh god. Come on, no! Don't do this! Right, Wolfie? Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> oh, let's go! Can you argue with these results? Oh my god, come on, I had it! Can't. Don't die. Wait! Stop! Don't... Don't do it, Snow. Don't hand him over. Just Take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Don't do this. No. Don't do this. My arm looks broken. 
Oh, it's him. It's the Crooked Man. It's your lucky day, kid. The Crooked Man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, no. Our prime suspect is leaving our grasp, but it definitely got bigger. It turned out to be bigger than I thought. Oh, and just between us girls, Green ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. I already knew he wasn't a killer. He didn't strike me as a killer. He just struck me as a creep. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a tweet's day. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. This game is about so good. In with the new, along with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. Oh, and this isn't the end of it. This is definitely not the end of it. That's crazy. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. God, I love this game. I love the way Telltale uh, tell stories, man. He's lucky to be alive. <laughs> it won't be next time if he keeps going like this. You don't this. say. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around. That's and an wait obvious for their statement. Move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Where's Buzz? Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to. Um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. Who's that? <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Oh, that's uh, Do Bloody you? Mary? Man, stuff got really heavy duty in this one. Let me see. Did you interrupt Snow's uh, eulogy? You and 80% of players decided not to interrupt Snow. Good. Uh, did you offer Flycatcher a job? You and 96% players offered a job to the Flycatcher. That's good. Uh, well, good so far. Did you burn Greenleaf's tree? You and 79% of players did not burn the tree. Did you kill Tweedledum? You and 55% of players showed Tweedledum mercy. This doesn't surprise me because Tweedledum and Tweedledee, to be fair, are both scum. Man, this is so good. Let's. I'm continuing. Let's go.